Hi, Nicola Ascom here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. Now, today's video, we're kind of going back to basics because a question that I've been asked quite a lot recently is, what is data ownership? And a lot of people are getting confused because they think that data ownership and data governance are different disciplines and they're different things you have to do. And this is causing them problems when they're trying to work out how to do either or, or both of them. So I just wanted to spend a few minutes explaining what data ownership is about. So if we go back to the real basics of, I think a data governance framework is made up of three things, a policy that tells you what you're going to have to do, some processes so everybody does the same thing consistently, but most importantly of all, roles and responsibilities, because if we don't agree who is going to do something, everybody might agree is a really good idea. If you say to somebody, we should have better quality data at our organization, you're gonna be hard pushed to find somebody to say, no, that's a stupid idea. But everybody will agree with you and everybody will think that somebody else will do the job. And if your job title has anything to do with data or data governance or data quality in it, they're gonna think it's you that's gonna be responsible for that. Now, we know from trying this, no one person in an organization can understand everything about the data and manage it accordingly. So we need to get business users involved. And one of the key roles uh, in a data governance framework is that of data owner, and hence the term data ownership, because you're not going to have one person owning all your data, as I just said. You're going to have a number of people, but not too many. Otherwise, you'll, you'll have problems from having a whole army of them. But you're going to have to have a small number of people, maybe between 15, 20, who own all the data in your organization. And they're going to be accountable for the quality of that data. And so when people talk about the concept of data ownership, they really mean just this key role in a data governance framework. It's not a big and scary thing. We're just talking about these individuals. They're not the only individuals in a data governance framework, but they are the senior people that are going to make your data governance framework work. So don't get confused about uh, data ownership and also don't get uptight if your organization doesn't like the term data owner or data ownership. Call them what you like, what will make it resonate and fit for your organization. So I hope that helps. And if you've got a question you would like me to cover at a future video, please just send them along to questions at nicolaaskham.com.